Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Automation Test Insider. So this is part 18 of Jira series and today I'm gonna show you how we can create automated rules or I would say automation in Jira. How we can create the automated rules in Jira. So let me take you to my Jira account where we'll explore how we can create the automated rules. So let's get started. So this is my Jira account guys and uh, if you remember last time we have created this project workflow project right where we talked about uh, how we can create the workflow if you haven't watched the last like couple of videos then please watch those videos and then uh, watch uh, go for this automated rules one so let me uh, show you like uh, i have already created an automated rule so how it works let me show you first and then we'll create uh, other rules as well so if i create uh, let's say any issue type over here like defect type of issue type and let me just defect 01 user is unable to log in any issue type you can create and uh, put the same in description just for our uh, demo purpose right and let me click on create so let's see what happens so i just created a an issue right view issue open in new tab so you can see here wr-5 is has been created now you can see uh, i have created the i was the reporter right and you can see assignee generally it will be like blank when we create the issue but here you can see it is assigned to myself whoever who who is the reporter it is assigned to that guy now i'll show you through history as well so if you go to the history you can see automation for jira change the assignee right so normally when you create uh, for the first time it will be like blank but because of this automation because of this rule change the status has been changed automatically and it is assigned to the reporter who created the issue right so this is how it works so let me show you how you can i mean how we can check this issue, uh, rule type and how we can create the other rules as well so you need to simply go to this settings and here we have an option called like jira settings and here we have system manage your general configuration global permissions and all right so simply click on that just scroll down uh, left side here you'll see automation you'll see automation op option here and click on global automation and here you'll see rule has been uh, this was the rule which because of which uh, the assignee has been changed or, or assigned to myself who, whoever is the reporter so if i click on this rule one here you can see when issue created rule is run when issue is created and then what is the action then assign the issue to issue, issue reporter right so this is the issue we have created uh, rule we have created now let me just simply click on return to rules i'll create new rules and then i'll show you so simply click on create rules and uh, when trigger so what what is the event we need to mention over here what is the uh, trigger point right so here we have some recommended options over here so if you simply scroll down you will see let's say uh, issue created which we have seen the previous time so let's say this time issue transition from one event to another event so we need to select this issue transition over here issue transition from let's say from which status so here you can see once you select this issue transition so here it, it will show you the op options like from status and to status so from status i would say from open open to let's say defect assigned let's talk about defect only so when we have a status open and then when it is changed to defect assigned so it should assign to developers right so from here we'll go to the next and what is the action add an ac action so here we'll uh, we need to see uh, assign issue right what is the action we need to perform so here we have an option called assign issue assign to specify user so assign the issue to you can specify the user here user in the group 
user in a role like that so what we are going to do we are going to specify a particular user a specify user and select the user from here so let me select uh, here we have developer one so simply i'll select that developer one and click on next now it is done when issue transition from open to defect assigned and then assign the issue to developer one so simply click on this turn on rule and we can give the name like uh, defect assignment rule defect assignment rule and simply click on turn on rule if you return to rules so our rule rule has been created defect assignment rule right now let's check this whether it is working fine or not so simply click click on create and defect and currently status is open defect 0 to simply I'll give like a test defect copy this and put it in the description this is just dummy just for demo purpose so that's why I'm writing like summary anything like defect to test defect and we need to specify the description as well now simply click on create so as soon as the issue created I'll show you how it uh, looks so view issue and then here you'll see just it will take a while uh, sorry uh, uh, we need to go to the history and here you will see automation for Jira the assignee is already because of the first rule now we are going to change the issue status from open to defect assigned so we have reported the issue now we are going to assign it to particular like we are going to assign the issue to developer so first it will go to the development team lead and then from there it will go to the particular leader so that is the uh, that is our motto so first we'll assign it to development team lead so when we click on defect assign so developer one is nothing but the development team lead so here you can see assignee has been automatically changed now if we click on history again so here you will see automation for jira change the assignee from hitendra verma to developer one so this is how it works guys and uh, this is very useful when you work with jira let me show you another rule and if i see uh, in the email uh, here you can see because i have configured myself uh, this email id with uh, my jira account so that's why i got the uh, the email as well like automation for jira assigned wr to you so it is assigned to developer one uh, now i'll show you another thing another rule so again go back to the rules system and uh, global automation and i'll create create another rule when add a trigger okay so let's say when issue gets created when we create any issue so where we have issue created so we'll select issue created and what action we are going to perform add an action or uh, these are the optional uh, some options are as well uh, op options we have as well like if add a condition we can add the condition as well but let's say we are just adding an action over here when issue gets created so what action we are going to perform let's say when when we are going to create an issue we are going to send an email whatever issue we are going to create we are going to send an email so to whom, to whom we are going to send let's say uh, i'm the project manager so project manager should be aware like uh, an issue has been created right so simply i'll add my email id over here too and uh, here subject line issue and uh, in double curly braces we need to write issue dot key so this will this will pick up the issue type uh, issue id has been created let's say we are going to uh, put this in the subject line similarly you can uh, write some content over here as well in the body right so issue issue id has been created it will show now let's say simply click on turn on rule and name of the rule send email 
email send email rule turn on rule and return to rules so you can see another rule has been created and we can enable and disable from here as well so let me create quickly create rule from here so you can create any like story type also you can create story one sample simply click on create issue has been created you can see history okay now we should get the email because we have created the issue you can see reporter here and it is assigned to Hitendra Verma only assigning to the reporter only and let's see whether we should get the email or not i think it will take a while meanwhile let's explore other things and just remember the id guys here we have id wr7 right wr7 so it should be di displayed in email as well so let me go to go to again rules So here we have all the rules and uh, you can just simply uh, enable and disable from here right and you can edit and uh, you can export also you can copy it you can delete as well let me see whether now you can see here Jira automation this is what we have created right issue wr7 has been created and you can see in the body as well issue wr7 has been created so this is how it works and uh, please practice all other options as well whatever feasible uh, whatever is required for your project so this is how you can create rules in jira so let me know if you still have any doubts related to how we can create the rules or how it works this automation in jira so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye